The report reaching us today is that terrorists on Thursday morning stormed a primary school in Chico local government area of Kaduna State and kidnapped about 855 pupils and teachers. It was gathered that the incident happened at about 8.20 a.m. immediately after the morning assembly. Meanwhile, the First Lady of Nigeria, Oluwe Mitinibu, has called for harsh penalties, including capital punishment for any individual found guilty of kidnapping school children in the country. Ms. Tinibu said it is time to take out those behind the kidnapping of school students, stressing that enough is enough. On reacting, the First Lady or state governors and lawmakers to ensure stiffer sanctions to curb the menace of adopting school pupils. Addressing journalists on Friday, Ms. Tinibu said, Whoever is kidnapping young people is sick and a coward. Enough is enough. I call on the state government that once we take hold of them, it's capital punishment. So right now, I'm going to let you guys watch the video and then we'll be right back. Whoever is kidnapping young people is sick, cruel, and a coward. Enough is enough. And um, I call on the state government that once we take hold of them, we deserve capital punishment. Why don't they take people their size? Why are they torturing our children? What they are doing is trying to kill our future. We all know parents, when we are old, we rely on our children. That, and we see them that our investment has not gone to waste especially when they're successful. Why would you go and take them from schools? Why? Why? I don't really know. But right now, I think enough is enough. As a former lawmaker, I believe that the, any or any one of them captured is our capital punishment. Yes. I say it, and I believe most mothers would believe that. Yes. We carry them for nine months, you are, when you are giving back, you don't know whether you are going to live or die. Yes. And you don't watch what you love. Being snuffed away. I watched some, a lion having cubs. Just going there to look at the cubs, I see how territorial they are. You can't even touch their children. And once they know they are, they are big enough, they can smell you, they don't want you around them. If animals can do that, what about us? So they are animals, they are evil and then we should take them out among our midst, wherever they come from. And the state governors should do something, and the lawmakers, especially the lawmakers. So, in addition to this, President Bola Tinibu condemns the Ineos incident of adoption involving very vulnerable victims, internally displaced persons in Bonu State, and students in Kaduna State. The President directs security and intelligence agency to immediately rescue the victims and ensure that justice is served against the proprietors of this abominable act. This was contained in a statement signed by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Chief Ajuri, on Friday, 8th of March, 2024. You see, my people, the problem with insecurity in Nigeria is that the government is not really ready for it. Because if the government are ready for it, they know how to fight this thing and bring it to a permanent closure. But the government are just playing balls and most of these politicians are using these things to play politics. This is the same thing that happened to Shiba guests all because they are playing politics. Now they are doing it again. They are putting the life of Nigerians in danger. So right about now, I'm going to be taking some comments as a lot of people have shared their opinion on this news. And the first person here said, Adopted 285 children by bus and without security int. Nigeria security and the government is a joke. Another comment here said, Story, story, story. As it not be long, we have been hearing enough is enough from Nigeria government. Why things continue getting worse? Do something and stop it now that you have the power. And the last comment I'll be taking here says, Kidnapping at all levels should be declared a capital offense in Nigeria. But I doubt if politicians will allow such a law. You see, eh, my people, Nigeria eh, has a long way to go. I just pray that these pupils and their teachers get home safely. So my people, that is it for you all. Please let us know your opinion in the comment section. And please, please help us to like and share this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you so much for your time.